Hey guys, my name is Sam and today I want to take a quick look at the Air Max 1 by Nike in collaboration with artist Peter Para. This released on the 21st of July 2018 along with the Air Zoom Spiridon and a full track suit. It comes in a white slide out box with a colourful landscape art beast on both sides of the box. I love the box design but we're not here for the box are we, so let's get right into the shoes. Dutch artist Pete Para's first work with Nike were known as City Packs, most notably his 2005 Air Max 1 Amsterdam's. This time Para continues the city theme with a flat representation of the city overlooking the countryside. Rather than focusing on colour blocking like his earlier works with Nike, Para first created his artwork and then considered implementing it onto the shoe. It has an OG inspired colour blocking with felt uppers, a white mesh toe box and a light grey mid panel. However the stripes and polka dot patterns wrap around the upper with a light blue Nike swoosh that's seen on both sides of the mid panel. This sits on a white midsole with clear air bubble units and a red internal airbag. Probably the best feature about the shoe is the multicolour outsole with red, pink, light blue and navy. It's very cool and is reminiscent of the Sean Weatherspoons that released back in March 2018. I do like details like the pink mini swoosh on one side while the pair of signatures embroidered on the other lateral side. I also like how the grey toe box is painted over with white stripes for that handmade feel. Other features like the printed insoles, blue and white stripes on the aglets, while behind the tongue has red and white stripes on its lining. However, I'm not a big fan of the color blocking. For me, it looks a little bit too busy in my opinion. Also, the choice of a felt upper was a little bit disappointing, especially since the friends and family had a leather and more premium materials. Also, the spirit one had a more durable feeling textile with the artworks printed over it. I was also disappointed in the chunky toe box, as well as the glue stains and uneven paint jobs on this Air Max 1. Since I'm not really feeling the Air Max 1, I didn't want it to be all doom and gloom, so I wanted to ask my guy Ash, a fellow sneaker YouTuber, what his thoughts were on the Air Max 1. So we have a live unboxing from Ash Bash. <laughs> what do you think? Very excited. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, they're actually really good in hand. They're slick, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, clean the soles. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the what do you think of the shape though? Shape's calm. Calm? For me, it's, it's a bit. No, no, no. It's just a bit thick. You remember the uh, oh, anniversary yeah, from last yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. But actually, do you know what? They're actually not bad it's compared. Not bad. I've seen yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're lucky because I saw some really like quality control issues. Really? Yeah. Someone was like. That's what the cactus yeah. Was like, so yeah. That's my gift today. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah, they're really nice. What do you think of them? It's nice. <laughs> In Africa, once you wear it once, you, yeah. see, you see here, mm -hmm. it's thin. <laughs> and when you wash them, one funny diagram like map of Nigeria will be up top there. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, one, 120, 120 retail, yeah. 120. Yeah. Too much, too little. My seven pounds fifty. I can't do it. Oh no no no! Next time, minute. Really weird. Get No worries. Have a good day. Yes, do you think they're good? Yeah, all good. Uh, what's your favourite feature? Uh, I like this part. You know, the polka dot. Yeah. Oddly enough, this bit is what I've been looking at mostly in pictures. Mm. What always comes to my mind whenever I think about them. But polka dots fire. It's all fire, I just love all the colour combinations to it. Do you know what I like? I don't know if Nike did it on purpose or if mm -hmm. it's just quality control. I like the way like here, it's actually painted over. So a lot of people, they say like this is um, leather, it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. It's actually paint. So I don't know if it was intentional. Mm. That's where you can see it actually peeking through the um, felt. Okay. Yeah, so I wasn't sure, for example, when you see stuff like that, I don't know if it's intentional. Or yeah, if yeah, it's actually yeah, 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 like, yeah. So I'm not, I'm not going to roast it too hard. I, really. <laughs> <laughs> I love the guy at the end. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you managed to pick any of these Pyro collabs. Also, if you haven't already, please check out my Spirit on video. The link will be in the description. Also, shout out to my guy Ash by Sneakers. I had to hook him up for retail for my pair since I wasn't feeling it too much. So a quick tip guys is to look out for each other. So if you manage to scoop up a spare pair or you just change your mind on a shoe, rather than going to resell it straight away, maybe check out if your mates need a pair and then if you miss out on a shoe next time, your mates can also hook you up. You know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment dot to show me you watch this video to the end. Please subscribe if you like my content and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I saw my stuff for an app called Depop, so you might want to follow me on there too. As usual, all of the links will be in the description apart from that. Have a good day.